Oh, hello there. Young Zach has come into the office today complaining of headache, so we think you might have meningitis. Zach, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being no pain, and 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt imaginable, what would you give this headache? Uh, 7. 7 is the threshold for meningitis. Zach, would you say you've had a fever? Oftentimes, the meningitis patient is disoriented and ignorant, and so he cannot be trusted. That's why we take his temperature. Hmm, 99.9. .9. I don't quite trust this, so it's time to go rectal. Oh, 102, as I suspected. Zach, have you been feeling any nuchal rigidity? Again, you cannot trust the meningitis patient. So we test it. Ow! Ow! He has nuchal rigidity. It's time to go to the examination couch. Here we are at the examination couch, ready to do the Koenig and Brzezinski signs. Although oftentimes they're not done for meningitis, because of the futility of the disease and the quick death that comes with it. So, let's start with the Koenig. Can you extend this? Ah, uh, no. You sure? Yes! On with the Brzezinski. As you can see, they're both positive, leading to a diagnosis of meningitis. Now, we're going to perform a lumbar puncture. With the patient in this position, find the L3, L4 interspace, make sure that it's sterile, and insert. You should hear a popping sound, and now we get the cerebrospinal fluid from the subarachnoid space, positive for meningitis. Blech.